Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math Channel. And today it's exploration day, and we are going to, you know, in this video we're going to plot the graph of n factorial versus n. So if you guys do not know what's the the, the meaning of n factorial, n factorial is basically, um, like for example, if n is equivalent to two, my n factorial is just two times one. All right. And if n if my n is equals to ten, my n factorial is equals to ten times nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. All right. So when you multiply subsequently, you subtract, you know, the one away from the previous value itself. So if let's say n factorial is just basically equals to n, n times n minus one times n minus two dot 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 dot, dot times three times two times one, where dot 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 indicates a lot of multiplications in between of values. All right, um, we're going to explore the graph of n factorial versus n uh, by calculating what is my n factorial value. So it's, as you can see on the left hand side, uh, we have column D where it represents when n is equals to let's say one, all right? Column E is just the x axis, which is the n value. Well, column uh, F represents n factorial, all right? Which is the y axis uh, in the graph itself, all right? So let's just begin, okay, by calculating when n is equal to one, my n factorial is just equals to probably just one, all right? So what I use is I use uh, this function in the Excel called the product function, which helps me to multiply the products together. All right. So as we you know keep on calculating the n factorial for each n values, you can see on the right hand side um, the graph slowly forms. All right. Oops, there's some errors down here. I do it all right okay so the graph slowly slowly forms slowly slowly build up and as you can see as your n actually increases your n factorial actually increases much much more so we have now reached the n is equals to probably eight i'm going to stop here so as n is equals to Eight, you will see your n factorial is actually um, slightly more than 40k and the graph on the right actually shows that it is more sort of like an exponential graph so I mean this is not surprising because uh, when n actually increases your n factorial it actually exponentially increases even much much more um, if you go on even further to when n is equals to 9 itself and your n factorial will be like wow you know 360 plus k you know wow 362,880 so you can see exactly how the graph actually forms when your n increases your n factorial actually increases exponentially all right so here is just a pretty much small little um, Kind of like help for you to understand how does the n factorial grows when your n actually increases all right um bob here signing off from here thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like this video do like um yeah this video and comment in the comment section thank you guys for watching